Welcome to Urban Kager, this is Rob, and today we are reviewing a Chianti. So I'm going to butcher this, but I'm going to try. So it is uh, Denominazione di Origine Controllata e Garanitita. Uh, it is a medium bodied uh, red wine blend. It is the Global Adventure series of wines, uh, made in Italy and picked up at uh, Aldi for, I believe that we paid just under six bucks for this, so I think $5.99 or $5.50 or something like that. Um, so I already poured it and I didn't put any ice in it because I'm pretty sure that red wines are mainly supposed to be at room temperature or whatever. Um, it smells really, good, really good. It smells like uh, it smells like a like a grape juice that has uh, that's fermented essentially. You know, a wine. Uh, but no, it, it doesn't smell it doesn't smell super tanniny and it doesn't smell uh, like overly um, overly sweet or anything like that. It doesn't smell like a like a moscato or a, like a rosé moscato or a red moscato. It sure smells good. So let's look at the uh, description here. So. It says, named after the uh, Chianti region of central Tuscany, this red wine is classically Italian. A medium-bodied uh, medium wine with notes of red berries and violets. Uh, enjoy with red meats and pasta. Fava beans and a nice Chianti go really well with human meat. Um, also, uh, it's best served at room temperature. So I did it right. I didn't screw it up this time. I didn't just throw ice cubes in it randomly. So let's go ahead and uh, let's give it another smell. It does smell good. I don't get any of the violet or anything like that. I do get the berry smell. Um, I wonder if I'll probably taste it. It's very dark red. It's very nice. Let's, uh, let's get in there. A little piece of cork. Weird. Um, okay, so Yeah, let me get another one. All right, so it does have like the berry flavor to it. I get a little bit of um, almost like a blackberry raspberry like bite at the end. Um, I don't know if I would say that it's that there's a lot of violet involved because uh, the floral essence of it really isn't there. I don't really smell anything floral from it. Um, honestly, if I'm gonna kind of describe this, I'm gonna describe it more as a bland uh, wine. I don't get a whole lot from it. Um, it's not super crazy flavorful, and it's most definitely not a, um, a wine that you would just sit and sip for taste, because this, I mean, it really, it's, it's like a watered down version of like a Cab Sav, and kind of disappointing if I'm honest. Uh, I'm, I mean, I want to like it because I still get the berries on the very end. Uh, like I'm still tasting some of like the, like the blackberry, the raspberry, maybe a little blueberry in there. I mean, it, the after effect, like well after a drink is pretty nice, but the, the initial flavor is just not there. Um, I would say, on a scale of one to five Hannibal Lecters, this is probably right around a uh, like a, a two five for me, or something. I mean, it's it's not. I don't love it, but I don't I don't hate it because the after effect is really nice, like the after flavor on your palate. It coats your palate well, and it has that really nice. Um, really nice after effect it's not it's not super tanniny so it's not like you know it's not crazy like that it's smooth but in my opinion it's also just not it, it's just not as flavorful as I want it to be um, so right here it says like subscribe hit that little bell at the bottom follow us on Instagram on Facebook and if you looking for a way to support the shenanigans that we have here at Dwarven Kager hit us up on that Patreon link down below now we also 
in the channel have a lot of really fun stuff. We've got beer reviews, we've got budget booze reviews, we've got cigar reviews, we've got cooking videos, card openings, we've got rants, we've got uh, just general shenanigans, and we have a partner here at Dwarven Kegger, and his name is Nick Knack. He is a gamer. He likes to shoot stuff in the fucking face, and it's amazing, and I'm putting his link down below as well. If you guys have any comments for me, any suggestions, please, by all means, comment down below as well. Uh, I'll be more than happy to get back with you and try out what you guys want me to try out. Um, thank you guys so much for being such big supporters of us, and we really, really appreciate it, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers. Oh, that's why he does it. That makes sense. <laughs>